Hi guys, Ryan here from Endorphins Shoe, a healthy food and wellness blog centered around healthy food for a healthy mind as well as a healthy body. And today I'm gonna to make one of my favorite student recipes which is my delicious quinoa risotto. And in this we have half a cup of quinoa. Now quinoa is probably one of my favorite things to cook at the moment and something that the health conscious are absolutely raving about right now. It is a high protein, gluten-free grain that contains the essential amino acids our bodies can produce by themselves. It has a short cook time of about 15 minutes and even though it's probably the most expensive thing on this list, it really keeps you full. But if you don't fancy paying one euro per 100 gram of this stuff, you can easily substitute it for couscous, but make sure you go for the whole wheat version, which is a lot higher in fiber. So next up, we have one sweet potato, uh, peeled, diced and chopped. And sweet potato is great for many things. It's high in vitamin C, full of slow release carbs, which help maintain steady blood sugar levels. It's also great for maintaining a healthy immune system. So make sure you stock up on this stuff well into the winter. Um, next, we have one diced red pepper. Red pepper is great for skin health, bone health, eye health, and heart health. Great, efficient vegetable and also very popular and tasty. It's great for this dish. And then we have sweet corn. Luckily, very popular and cheap, very easy to get your hands on. It's full of min minerals and vitamins, in particular vitamin B1, which is a great memory enhancer. And as students, we can sometimes do with a bit of that. We have one tablespoon of turmeric, and turmeric is a great traditional medicinal spice that helps fight off the body's badness and helps repair damage as well. And you might be wondering what's with the kind of unnecessary expensive herbs I'm using. I have one tablespoon of cumin and also one inch of chopped ginger, but really they're not so expensive at all. One chunk of ginger is probably about 20 cent in the supermarket. And if you stock up on your jars of turmeric and cumin, they'll last you for weeks. And it will also mean not dousing your meals in salt and pepper, which isn't so great for your health in the long run. So what else? We have baby button mushrooms. I'm just gonna throw them all together. There's no need for a lot of um, unnecessary bowls and stuff, just throw it all into one big one. And then I'll show you what to do with that at the end. I'm gonna throw the pepper in with the mushrooms, as well as the sweet potato. And I'm gonna leave the herbs and spices until last because we're gonna cook the cumin and turmeric on its own with the olive oil at the beginning just to kind of infuse the flavors. Also, I have about 10, 11, 12, whatever you want, green beans chopped up finely. Green beans high in vitamin C, protein and calcium, also very popular and a great addition to this. Towards the end of making this recipe, we're going to add cheese just to kind of give it that traditional risotto feel. But for any vegans or anybody who doesn't with any dairy intolerance, you can go for a nutritional yeast which has a great kind of cheesy vibe to it. And even though it's more expensive than buying grated cheddar cheese, again, like the turmeric, like the cumin, this stuff will last you for weeks if you can really preserve it well. So into this big bowl, we're also gonna add in the sweet corn and the ginger. I have, as I said, one inch of chopped ginger. And that's all for now. So I'm going to add just a drop of olive oil with my cumin and turmeric. And I'm just going to heat that up before I add in all my vegetables and saute them off for seven minutes. So after infusing the turmeric and cumin with inner olive oil, we're gonna add in our vegetables, all mixed up very easily, just throw them together. We're just gonna add them in here and let them saute for seven minutes. Just make sure you kind of coat everything with the turmeric. You can tell when it's done when the mushrooms are just completely yellow. <laughs> so now we just add the lid, keep it on a medium heat. It's time to dissolve our veg stock. One great thing to stock up on as a student is veg stock. It adds flavor to bland stuff like quinoa, couscous, rice, whatever. A rough estimate as to how much water you're gonna need for that is two parts water per one part quinoa. So I have two parts water here with veg stock dissolved into it. And when the vegetables are fin finished sauteing, you simply just pour in your quinoa, give it a stir, and then just soak it all in this water. 
and just let that boil through for about 15 minutes on low heat and then at the end you add in either your cheese or nutritional yeast and then that's it simple recipe so many flavors and just it's efficient you can store it in containers freezeable um, keeps you full and it's a great way to impress the housemates so seven minutes in your veggies are going to look a lot more moist and even though they're not so tender especially the sweet potato that is perfect because it's going to cook through for the next 15 minutes along with the veg stock and quinoa solution you're going to just add in the quinoa from the cup kind of give it a swirl around to just disperse it a bit and followed by two parts of water for that quinoa with the veg stock then you're just going to drizzle it in and by the end of adding it all it should kind of just cover all the vegetables and it looks pretty messy but believe me it turns into something different after all the quinoa soaks up the water so we're just going to give it a stir make sure the quinoa is just even throughout lovely smells coming off this and it's going to be even better when we add either the cheese or nutritional yeast at the end so i'm just going to place this over the hob for another 15 minutes with the lid and then i'll show you when it's done you can see it nicely coming together even though the quinoa isn't half cooked yet you can see it's starting to soak up the water the turmeric and cumin seem a bit strong at first but they're starting to blend in really well they're a bit more subtle now after another quick stir we just place the lid on and keep it to cook through again so every five minutes just come back give it another stir you can see it's really starting to bubble and the quinoa is expanding this is genuinely one of the easiest recipes for my blog and definitely one of my favorites like so after 15 minutes it's going to be done another minute and it would just be completely different but now it's perfect it's bulky the water is all absorbed vegetables are tender and it smells absolutely delicious. I can still get that kind of sweet, gingery smell. And I have no doubt that the quinoa is far beyond bland now. So now the final touch to this is to add in either your cheese or nutritional yeast. And this is going to be a completely vegan recipe, but may feel free to bulk it up with cheese if you do eat it. And you just give that a quick stir in before you serve. And this has about three servings. So it's great for a meal between college lectures or before you head out in town to line your stomach, whatever. But this stuff really does keep you full and it just has so much goodness in it. And even feel free to add more cheese at the end. And salt and pepper to taste, but I really don't think you're gonna need it in this one. Feel free to add more cheese. And all set to go.